Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio, here back with another Mafia City video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I read battle reports and how I tweak my formations based on these reports. So let's get started. There are three main factors that I consider whenever I read a battle report. The first one is tanker count. I usually prefer having just enough tankers in my march to defend my melee troops. While adding a lot of tankers ensures that your troops in the back remain safe, it also reduces the efficiency of your march because the tankers hardly get any kills. So I usually try to limit the number of tankers I use so that I can maximize the number of offensive troops that I add to my march. The second one is ranged troop losses versus their kills. I usually don't add a lot of ranged troops in my tournament battles, however if you do, you should always compare the number of kills they get with the number of losses. You want to ensure that each troop is getting more kills than losses. If that isn't the case, you should either reduce their number or remove them entirely from your march. Ranged troops are the first to get targeted by charge attacks from your opponent's bikers, thus they usually end up giving your opponents more kills than what they get so it's usually better to avoid adding them in your tournament marches. And the third factor that I consider is the kill ratio of my offensive melee troops. The kill ratio is basically the ratio of the number of kills my troops get to the number of troops I add in my march. I usually try to equalize the kill ratio for my offensive melee troops to maximize the efficiency of my march. To give you an example, let's assume I have 50,000 tier 10 bikers and 50,000 tier 9 bulkers in my march. The tier 9 bulkers get 25,000 kills which makes their kill ratio 0.5 and the tier 10 bikers let's say get 75,000 kills which gives them a kill ratio of 1.5. Now common sense would say that you should eliminate the tier 9 bulkers from your march and use only tier 10 bikers since they have a higher kill ratio. However, if you've watched my troop formation video, then you probably know that as you increase the number of troops of a specific type in your march, their kill ratio keeps decreasing. So instead of eliminating the tier 9 bulkers completely, let's say we reduce their count to 10,000 and increase the number of tier 10 bikers to 90,000. Now let's say the 10,000 tier 9 bikers get 15,000 kills, which makes their kill ratio 1.5, and the 90,000 tier 10 bikers get 45,000 kills which makes their kill ratio 0.5. What this means is that the tier 9 bulkers are now doing better than the tier 10 bikers. And the number of tier 9 bulkers should be increased to make your attacks more efficient. Now let's say you've made another adjustment and increased your tier 9 bulker count to 25,000 and reduced your tier 10 bulker count to 75,000. Now your 25,000 tier 9 bulkers get 25,000 kills which makes their kill ratio 1 and your 75,000 bikers get 75,000 kills which also makes their kill ratio 1. At this point, both troops are doing equally well and hence there is no need for any further adjustment. This is the reason why you should always aim to equalize the kill ratio of your troops. Keep in mind that you don't really need to consider stats while trying to optimize your formation as all your stats and your opponent's stats will be factored in whenever you try to equalize the kill ratio of your troops. For instance, if you have a very high biker attack, you won't be able to equalize your kill ratio unless you increase the number of bikers and reduce the number of other troops in your march. Now let's take a look at one of my reports so I can show you how I read battle reports and draw conclusions from them. So here's a report of me challenging another guy in 3v3. The stats don't really matter while adjusting your troop formation, however I'm sharing them just for those that are curious. Let's take a look at my opponent's formation first to see what he could have done to improve the results. As you can see my opponent was using all of his tier 7 and tier 8 troop types in his march. However, he had more offensive tier 8 troops than tier 7 troops. Now let's consider all the three factors that we just discussed earlier one by one. The first one is tanker count. My opponent had around 38,000 tankers in his march and he lost all of them. This would usually tell me that my opponent did not have enough tankers in his march. However, if you look closely at the report, you'll see that his tier 8 bulkers were never attacked. 
Now his tier 8 bulkers should have been targeted by my troops after all of his tier 7 bulkers were killed since they come next in line. However, since they were not attacked, it tells me that he had just enough bulkers in his march to protect his troops in the back. So his bulker count is perfect and does not need any adjustment. However, I would still add 1 to 2000 extra bulkers just to be safe. The next factor is range troop losses versus kills. As you can see, my opponent had a lot of range troops in his march and they hardly got any kills while at the same time they ended up giving me a ton of kills. This tells me that he should have eliminated all of his range troops from his march because they hardly did any work. And the third factor is kill ratio. My opponent had an equal number of riders and combaters. However, his combaters got a slightly better kill ratio than the riders, probably because his bulker attack was higher than his biker attack. This tells me that he should have added a few more bulkers to his march to equate the kill ratio. So, in conclusion, my opponent should have slightly increased his bulker count, removed all of his ranged troops, and filled the extra space with slightly more tier 8 bulkers and tier 8 bikers for better results. Now let's take a look at my march. For tanker count, it seems like I only lost 12,000 tankers, so I probably would have been better off against this opponent if I only had around 15,000 tankers in my march and used the extra space for more offensive troops. As far as ranged troops are concerned, I was using only one of each type as bait in my march, so the second factor is irrelevant in this case. And finally, the kill ratio. My tier 8 bulkers had a kill ratio of around 0.86, my tier 8 bikers had a kill ratio of around 0.92 and my tier 6 bikers had a ratio of around 0.87. This tells me that I should have added a few more tier 8 bikers to my march for better results. Also, if you take a look at my lower tier melee troops, you'll see that the tier 5 bulkers had a kill ratio of 4.85, my tier 3 bulkers had a kill ratio of 6, my tier 3 bikers had a kill ratio of 4.47, my tier 2 bikers had a kill ratio of 2.47, and my tier 1 bikers had a kill ratio of 1.8. So I should have also increased the number of these low tier melee troops in my march for better results. Let's take a look at another report so that you get a better idea how to read reports. Here's another 3v3 report. My opponent and I had quite similar stats. However, my opponent's march was more than double my march. If you take a look at the bulker count, you'll find that my opponent had over 80,000 bulkers but lost only around 7,000 of them, which tells me that my opponent did not need to add more than 10,000 tier 10 bulkers against my march. If you look at the range troop losses, you'll find that my opponent's shooters got around 21,000 kills but they gave me more than 23,000 kills, which obviously means that adding so many tier 10 shooters to the march was a bad idea. The number of tier 10 shooters should have either been reduced or they should have been eliminated from the march for better results. And lastly, if you compare the kill ratio of the tier 10 bikers with the tier 9 bulkers, you'll find that the tier 9 bulkers almost had a kill ratio of 1 while the tier 10 bikers had a kill ratio of around 0.2. This tells me that my opponent should have increased the number of tier 9 bulkers and reduced the number of tier 10 bikers in their march for better results. Now let's take a look at my formation. I was using the same formation as the previous report, however here you'll find that I lost over 48,000 tier 7 bulkers while I only had around 50,000 tier 7 bulkers in my march. This tells me that my bulker count was almost perfect and did not require any adjustment. Again, I wasn't using any range troops in my march other than the few that I was using as bait. And finally, for the kill ratio, you'll see that my bikers did a lot better than my bulkers. My tier 8 and tier 6 bikers both had a kill ratio of over 0.4, and my tier 8 bulkers only had a kill ratio of around 0.16 which means that I should have used more bikers in my march and reduced the number of bulkers that I was using to get better results against this specific opponent. Obviously, the low tier bulkers and bikers also had high kill ratios like in the previous report, which means that I should have also added more of them for better results. If you still haven't checked out my troop formation guide, I'd highly recommend checking that out so you get a better idea of how the battle mechanics of this game work. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. 
Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see you all in the next one.